We now have a new episode of our newest segment, Gardening in Nature, brought to you by the Cape Fear Garden Club. Today, they continue their two-part series on bees. Last time, they explained how bees pollinate plants and flowers for us, and this week, they feature a very special guest. Here's Gardening in Nature with host Barbara Downing. Welcome to Gardening in Nature, brought to you by Cape Fear Garden Club. I am Barbara Downing, and I am here with Megan and Emma from Myrtle Grove Middle School. Okay, Megan, what did we talk about the last time we were together? Bees. That's right. Miss Downing, when Megan invited me to join you all today, I did a little be bit of research on bees. What did you learn? Well, Bees are hardwired to do certain jobs. Scout bees, which search for new sources of food, are wired for adventure. Soldier bees work as security guards their whole life, while regular honeybees perform multiple jobs in their lifetime. Very good. But did either one of you do anything, any reading about an apreus? Girls, an apreus is also known as a beekeeper. I'd like to introduce both of you to Laura McCabe, President of New Hanover County Beekeepers. Welcome, Ms. McCabe. Hello. Thank you for inviting me. Um, what does a beekeeper do? Well, a beekeeper keeps bees. A beekeeper has beehives usually in their backyard and they tend those bees and ensure that they're healthy so that they're available to pollinate and then we also are able to harvest honey from those beehives that we keep in our backyards. Why is beekeeping important? Well, it used to be that there were lots and lots of wild bees called feral bees that lived in hollow trees and they were the natural native pollinators. But unfortunately with the loss of habitat, a lot of crops now are dependent on beekeepers who keep beehives either in their backyard or people who actually do it for a living to provide the pollination for agricultural products. If you don't mind, maybe I'll, um, now that you've seen me in my beekeeping outfit, how about, how about make it a little more comfortable? Thank you. Where do the bees live? Well, the bees live in a beehive, and I brought actually a small beehive as an example so people would know what they look like. A beehive is a bottom board and one or more hive bodies. Usually you've seen them much higher and then a cover to keep the, the, rain, the rain out. The bees come and go off of this front porch down here. That, that's how they get out to forage for nectar and pollen. So I'm going to take the lid off so you know what a beehive looks like and there are no bees in here. I left the bees at home. So a beehive is configured of what are called hanging frames. They're like hanging file folders. So pretend that these are real bees it would actually look like that. That's why I would wear a jacket with a hood because those would be live bees. So the bees live in here. Um, how do you know which one is the uh, queen bee? Yes, yeah, so a hive is, one, think of it as one entity, one organism. All of the bees in the hive are all of the children of one queen. And as a beekeeper, you want to make sure that your hive is what we call queen right every time you go in, that you have a healthy queen that is continuing to lay eggs. The queen looks just a little bit different than everybody else. So I showed you this frame before. This is bees that are actually sitting on a frame of capped honey. Well, how do you find your queen? So here's a picture, and you see the queen right here. This is a blow up. You see how she's a little bigger? Her abdomen is shiny and it's longer. It's so that it allows her to be able to stick her abdomen down into the comb and lay the eggs. The other thing is, you see how all these little bees are surrounded around her? That's called the queen's retinue. Those are the bees that tend her. 
that, that keep her clean and feed her while she is walking around doing the only thing that she does during an entire life, which is lay eggs for newbies. This has been awesome. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Me too. Yes, it has. Thank you, Miss McCabe, and thank you to the New Hanover County Beekeepers for all you do. You're very welcome. Thank you. How can we learn more about beekeeping? Our viewers can learn more about bees at their local library and online at a uh, host website, including the Cape Fear Garden Club. That wraps up this edition of Gardening in Nature. Join us next as we explore the wonders of the world right in your own backyard. Back to you.